Hey guys, today we're going to do a quick video on how to set the hydraulic functions on a Parker monitor. The Parker monitor is going to be installed on all Generation 5 tractors, which will be cut in in 2022. The first thing you're going to want to do is turn the key a quarter turn and let the dash and the Parker monitor both fully turn on. If you turn the key too fast, the Parker monitor will stay dark because the ECM did not have enough time to boot up. The next thing you're going to want to do is turn on your hydraulic functions. The button is located on the right armrest in between the diff lock button and the engine decelerator button. Once the hydraulic button is pressed and the hydraulic functions are active, you will also see a little icon turn green at the bottom left corner of the Parker monitor screen. The next thing you're going to want to do is tap on the hydraulics tab on the left center of the Parker monitor. After you have tapped the hydraulics tab, the tab will turn green and it'll take you to the hydraulics screen. If the MTS tractor is paired with an MTS scraper, you will have three hydraulic functions. The number one function will be to raise and lower the cutting edge of the scraper. The number two function will be for the apron of the scraper, and the number three function will be for the ejector of the scraper. Now we will go through functions one, two, and three and show you how to set either manual mode, timer, and your hydraulic flows. Once you're in the hydraulics menu, tap on the number one. This will open up valve one hydraulic settings menu. The first thing you're gonna wanna check is to make sure your flow in both directions is set to 100%. The next option below your flow in the settings is your hydraulic detent timer option. If you wish to have your hydraulic function work on a detent timer, this is where you set how long that function will operate after you hit the detent timer. These can be adjusted as you see fit as material types change. After you check your hydraulic flows and make sure that they are both to 100% and set your detent timer if you wish to use it, you will need to either activate manual or timer mode. The manual mode would be the finger pointing icon and the timer mode would be the icon that looks like a clock. You can either pick one or the other. Once you pick the clock or the pointing finger, the icon will turn green to show what you have selected. Once you have picked the pointing finger or the clock, you can go back to the hydraulic settings screen by pushing the back arrow at the top right of the screen. Once you are back in the hydraulics home screen, you'll need to repeat this process by tapping on the number two to open up Valve 2's settings. As you can see, Valve 2 needs its hydraulic flow settings both set to 100%. After both flows are set to 100%, you repeat the process for setting your timers if you would like to use them by adjusting them with the bottom two bars and then select manual or timer mode on the right icons. Repeat the same process for valve three. Check to make sure both flows are at 100%. Set your detent timer if needed and select manual or timer mode on the right side. Once all three valves are set to the correct settings of your choice, you can return to the home screen by clicking the bottom right corner of the top left box. After you have clicked the black triangle, you should be back to your home screen. And that is how you set the hydraulic functions on the Parker monitor.